Are you looking for design clients or do you want to find better clients than the one you're currently working with? If you answered yes to even one of these questions, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Pierluigi and uh, I'm a UI UX designer with over a decade of experience and uh, I worked with over 40 clients uh, over the past uh, 10 years. Uh, and for the most part, uh, it's uh, been a complete uh, remote uh, journey, meaning that uh, I only worked with clients uh, remotely both in full-time positions and in contracts or part-time positions. In this video, I want to share with you exactly how I managed to do it. So by the end of it, you're going to have a complete list of some of the top websites in order to find design clients out there. But even before that, I'm going to give you a basic mindset and I'm going to point out why most designers fail when it comes to finding clients, especially remotely. And the reasons might surprise you, but it's extremely important because even if you have the best websites list out there, if you don't really tackle these important elements, you're not going to find the high paying clients. So I want to keep this intro short and now I want to get right into the video. But just before we do that, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in joining this field or even just considering it, feel free to check out the link in the description. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So first things first, where do designers fail when it comes to outreach and finding high paying design clients. It all starts with what I call the black hole. And this is essentially focusing all of the energy and time on things that aren't really worth it when it comes to finding new clients. So this would be including endless portfolio updates or just going on social media and trying to have the perfect profile posting uh, pictures on uh, or shots on Dribbble each and every day, having a stunning Behance portfolio and uh, just refining your personal website uh, to death essentially. And I've been guilty of this uh, myself uh, and occasionally during the year, I still catch uh, myself uh, focusing uh, ex extensively on these things. Uh, but the reality is that once you have a solid portfolio, and uh, even if you have a basic social media and basic website, that uh, shouldn't really matter. You have to focus on uh, almost in sprints. So you have to give yourself a deadline to tackle and solidify these elements. So maybe two, three, four weeks, uh, whatever is your time frame, I don't know, but you have to give yourself a deadline. And after that, you have to ship the product and you have to be confident about it. So there's never going to be a, perf a perfect website. You're never going to have the perfect portfolio. Your social media can always be improved. But the reality of the matter is that what is going to make a difference in your life and that is going to attract high paying clients, enable you to level up, increase uh, your exposure, have more money and do everything that you want is essentially doing the outreach work. And I know that this is not uh, what uh, we want to hear, but this is what works. So this uh, is essentially the framework that uh, I would use uh, if uh, I didn't have any clients or if I had uh, some clients, but I want to fill up my calendar. So in the first example, pretend that uh, I literally lost uh, or that you don't have any, any clients. So you're at square one and you have all of the free time in the world. Well, in that case, what you have to do is to do outreach all of the time. So so that you have that you want to set eight hours during the day, maybe don't do eight hours right away because it's going to be tedious and boring work, essentially doing like outreach all day long. But I personally would do it because I know that that would uh, eventually get me calls and uh, some calls are going to turn into client work. So this uh, is essentially the main uh, work uh, that I uh, have to do. If you have uh, a part time client uh, and uh, you want to find new clients, you have to free that time just doing outreach. What outreach is, is essentially contacting uh, other business owners and uh, sending emails and doing all the things that I teach uh, during uh, my courses and the videos uh, on YouTube for free.
I wanted to make this premise because regardless of the website that you're going to use, this is the main uh, mind frame uh, and uh, the main uh, procedure that you have to take upon. So now let's move on to what website will allow you to do the outreach and find clients. Now, if you Google remote uh, design jobs, uh, you're going to find endless uh, websites that are going to enable you to find uh, and apply for remote uh, job positions uh, or find a contract worker online. But here are some of the top uh, favorites and uh, also based uh, both on my personal experience and uh, what uh, I heard from a designer friend of mine. So the first one is remote.io and um, as you can see here you can uh, literally find like some remote jobs for some top tier companies you know first one that i'm seeing here is stripe for example and uh, yeah there's just a lot uh, of uh, uh, jobs over here i won't go into the the details but simply select design and then the job title and then you're going to find uh, all sorts of different uh, listings now, the second one is a very famous one and it's uh, we work remotely now what i really like about this website is apart from the amount of uh, um, jobs that you can find uh, is the fact that the employer needs to pay uh, pretty much 300 bucks in order to apply and uh, this qualifies uh, clients that are willing to invest uh, even in the application so you're not going to find uh, uh, cheap clients likely over here so definitely really, really good. Plus it's trusted by, you know, leading companies and really seen some big names in the game when it comes to this website. Now let's move on to the very next one, which is uh, flex jobs. I haven't per personally used this one, but I have uh, heard some uh, good news about it. So some, some good opinions in general. And by the way, just before we move on, um, I also want to remind you that one thing which is important to do is whenever you're applying, don't just uh, select the apply button and uh, call it a day. What you have to do is to apply and then also try and figure out who are the hiring managers or the top level managers in that company and uh, try to reach out to, to them uh, either on social media or via email. And uh, this is going to enable you to basically stand out from the competition so um, just try to be tactful there i'm going to go into more detail in future videos but i already shot many videos where i'm explaining how to reach out to them uh, but yeah this would be pretty much it let's move on we're going to go pretty fast here because essentially <laughs> they're all a remote job uh, um, of websites so another one is remote.co uh, so definitely check it out then we have indeed um, indeed again you're, they're going to receive so many applications which is going to be overwhelming since it's such a big website but uh, what is important to do is always to contact contact the original company um, either the owners or the top level managers or even the, the senior designers, head of design, you, you get the feeling. Now, another really good one is uh, Dribbble. And again, they have to pay even a monthly subscription in this case. So they're pretty much filtering all of the low level, uh, all the low level um, companies, meaning that you're only going to find companies which uh, are operating at a higher level and that they are interested in investing in the hiring process. So definitely a good one. And uh, the last, but definitely not least is Toptal. Uh, my personal favorite out of uh, all of this list, uh, Toptal is amazing in order to find uh, uh, high quality clients. And um, I've, I've been on Toptal myself uh, for quite a long time now, and uh, I love it. So definitely check it out. Uh, if uh, you haven't, there is an application process. They don't uh, take uh, uh, every designer. So just keep in mind, uh, but uh, it's definitely worth it if uh, you can get in. So this would be pretty much it for this video. Hope uh, it was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment and I'll see you in the next video.